Good afternoon. Thanks for tuning in to Dear Cyber Sue. I'm Susan McCord. Today's topic is, how do I know if I'm ready to date again after a painful breakup? Well, the thing I love about this question is because it is a really popular thing that people talk about. They go through a horrible breakup, they go through the, cre the grieving process of it, and they think they're ready, but they're not emotionally equipped to get out there again. Until you've done a lot of homework on what transpired during your time together with this person, you're not ready to give to anybody else. A lot of people go on dating sites fairly quickly after. If they're angry, they're sad, they're lonely, all these reasons trigger people to get back out there before they're ready. Because it's at their fingertips, it's available. They can just go on and just peek and see what's going on out there. And then maybe when they're ready, they'll put themselves out again. But what happens is they get caught up in it all. They think that they're okay and then they go out and date somebody. The problem with this is, if you're still thinking about your partner on a regular basis, whether you're sad, you're, you're really mad at what transpired, these things show you that you're not ready to be out there meeting anybody else. It's not fair to them, first of all. Because when we go on a dating site, we want people that are on there, that are ready, they're available, they're emotionally available. When you're coming through a, a breakup, depending on how it happened, of course, that really makes a difference. If you come from a, a blindsided situation where you had no idea this was coming, it's going to take you a long time to get past that. I'm talking at least a year, sometimes longer for some people. Of course, if it was a mutual breakup where you both had just done your time together, you realized it was sort of a dead end, things weren't progressing the way that you both want them to, it's a little easier to get over something like that because you've both sat down, looked at it, and come to the same conclusion. So that's easier. So you're going to be ready a little bit faster. But you still have to take the lessons that come with a breakup because if you don't own them, learn from them, you're going to take it on to another partnership or you're going to constantly, after you've had a few dates, be sitting there saying, why am I feeling so, so anxious? Why am I feeling really uncomfortable about all this? And the bottom line answer is you're not ready. There's the old expression, to get over one person, get under another person. And this has worked for some people or just they've gone and just to, you know, sort of put a little bit of that into their life to see what's going to transpire from it. The trouble is when you've really, truly loved someone and you've come from a, a difficult, painful breakup, it's really hard to have sex with somebody that you've just met without knowing them and falling in love with them. You can have sex, I'm not questioning that, but a lot of the time what happens after, you feel worse. And I know that people out there watching this know what I'm talking about. We've all been there. We've got, gone in too soon because we figure, hey, I'm really hurt right now. I need some love. I need some attention. I need some affection. And we go into a situation that we're not ready for. So what happens? It actually makes us feel worse because now we miss our ex even more because maybe this ex was good, but it wasn't great. There wasn't that intimate emotional connection with somebody that you've just met. So be really careful when you jump into bed with somebody too quickly because that is probably the one thing that I find that sets you back more than anything else when you do that too quickly. And a lot of times people feel a guilt. They feel like they've been unfaithful to their ex even though they're broken up. And that's another thing that comes in where you feel guilty that what well, if I really love that person, why would I jump into bed with somebody else? So you kind of beat yourself up. So take some time to get to know you. Give yourself some self-love after a breakup. Put your energy into healing you, not bringing someone else into the mix to upset things even further. So another rule of thumb is if you have to ask this question, you're not ready because when you're not feeling the anger, the sadness, the hurt, you're not thinking about them 24-7, that's when you're ready. So you won't have to ask the question because you've, you're moving on. 
you're always going to have little butterfly moments when you see a picture of them or you run into them or something that it's going to bring everything back. That's just human nature. It's just the way we are. But give yourself, you know, if you were in a long-term uh, relationship and you broke up, you want to give yourself at least a year or more to be able to be into where you're feeling that your heart is healing. If it's only been a month or so that you were with somebody and you just had a, a breakup, you, you're going to take way less time to get over it. You're going to be ready a lot sooner. But the most important thing is to sit down, if you're having troubles getting over them, write down the pros and cons of this person. Be honest about it. Don't do that typical thing that a lot of, sorry ladies, but a lot of women do this where they remember the few good things in the relationship. There was a lot of other things that weren't great, but they remember those few things. A few times you got flowers or you went to a really fancy dinner and you're holding on to those things. Well, that was so nice. He bought me a really nice bracelet. Or Those kind of things are, are not important in the big scheme of what a relationship is all about. You want everything to be there that makes it complete. Somebody doesn't make you complete, but when they come into your life, when you have everything else going for you, and they just add to it, that's when you know you're in a good relationship. That's when it fits, and vice versa. They want the same thing from you. Another big indicator that you're ready to maybe start dating again is you understand now why you're not with them anymore. You have clarity over what transpired. You're more realistic in your thinking about, oh, I get it. I do get it now. I understand why they're not with me and I'm not with them. We're just missing this. This was a problem. All these other things that came into play, I pushed to the side because I was so attracted to them and I threw away the common sense part of the relationship. It's really important to understand why someone was in your life. And if you can't figure it out, like, why did this break up? I don't, why did we break up? I don't get it. Ask your friends to be really objective or your family, anybody that got to know your partner and just say, what did you see? What am I missing here? If you're really having trouble trying to figure it out and they'll tell you, they'll give you some good things to think about. Take some time after that and just, as I say, get to know yourself again. Don't put any pressure on yourself to go out and date. When you're ready, you'll be thinking of your partner less. You'll, you'll be so excited to get out there. You won't feel anxious. You won't feel scared or nervous. You're going to be saying to yourself, okay, I'm ready. I know what it is I'm looking for. I know what is important to me. And I know the kind of person I want to be with. When you truly understand what you deserve in a partner is when you're ready to go back out dating again. Thanks so much for tuning in today. Please leave any comments you have below the video here. Please click like and I would love to hear from you anytime about any topics you have. Please don't forget to subscribe. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.